Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm finally back from uh, my YouTube break. So if you don't remember, and if you or if you didn't watch my video, I was gone for a while because I was being busy with school. But I'm finally done with my school year, so that means I'll be able to post more videos again. And I know you guys are waiting for the 500 sub sample pack still, but um, I still haven't finished it yet. Honestly, I don't know why I'm slacking so much on the sample pack. I'm just too lazy to finish it, but. I'll let you guys know that I am actually working on it. I'm like halfway done. And I'll give you guys a little sneak peek just so uh, you guys don't have to wait that long. So here are two loops that I made for the sample pack. So there's this one. And then this one. That was very like uh, tech-ish virtual riot style sample pack. So um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool when I release it. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really heavy tarot sustain base that I actually worked on for another sound design session that I did. And I thought it sounded really cool, so I wanted to show to you guys how I made it. So uh, yeah, this is what the sustain base sounds like. It's very uh, Halifax inspired, and um, I really like these kind of sustain bases because they sound really heavy and powerful. So um, yeah, let's get on with the base. So I'm first going to start with the sub base, which is really distorted sub bass, which is basically just a uh, serum patch. So it's just a sine wave with some noise and a bit of distortion and the master all the way up. So it's actually like really. So now we have uh, this cool bass, which is actually made in FM8. Yeah, keep in mind that this uh, screech is like uh, mostly made in FM8. So if you don't have FM8, then <laughs> I'm sorry, but. I, th I think you could probably replicate this because this is only just a sine wave uh, FM with a triangle wave. So I'll, I'll be showing you guys what this part of the bass sounds like without any effects. So, pull these off. And this is just the patch itself. It sounds really dumb, I know. But uh, basically, what I'm doing is that um, I'm taking the F operator, which is just a sine wave with a ratio of 1. And the level is just to the normal, the normal one, so just 80. And I'm automating the, uh, I don't know what this is, but this is probably like the master of M or something, but I'm, I'm pulling this with a macro over here called the scream macro. So it adds kind of like a scream sound. So it just adds the, um, the triangle uh, wavetable with the um, sound. And uh, this triangle wavetable has a ratio of 4 and an offset of 300. You can change the offset to get different tones to get higher or lower, but um, I just chose it like this. And uh, in the effects section, I added an overdrive with the drive all the way up, with the bass all the way up, and the volume all the way up. And the tube amp is uh, volume and drive all the way up as well, so if I turn these off... <laughs> That's what it sounds like without the effects. So we're basically just distorting the heck out of it. So after that, I use a flanger to mess up the frequencies a bit. And then after, uh, I use this EQ technique where I just take um, two uh, bands and I just make one go to the right and one to the left. I think this works kind of like a high notch filter in the serum filter section. This basically just adds vowel to the bass and I like using this technique a lot for um, heavy tear out bases. Next I added a o isotope trash 2 for some more distortion. And uh, I think this is on the aggressive bad wiring slam. I probably used a precept for this, but um, I don't really remember which one it is, but you could probably copy it from these settings. I'm just using the positive uh, distortion setting with a shape like this, and these knobs, and a dynamic switch like this. Then I added an amp on the boost setting, fiddled with the treble and the presence a bit, and I also turned the dry wet to 51.6% because I didn't want it all the way up. And I also set the output to dual, so. Then I added a erosion with the noise function to add more noise on the high end with an amount of 16.7, no, 
and a width of 0 0.12. Also, I added an auto filter, which makes that uh, low pass filter sound, which I think is also being automated by the Mac. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just used the uh, standard low pass filter. Then I just added a simple OTT, the output of 7.8 dB. Then I added a dimension expander with the size all the way down and the dry wet to about 11 o'clock. Then a uh, reverb for that reverb tail at the end with a decay of 2.11 seconds. Then just a um, little bit of a treble boost or high end. Then a Fab Filter Pro Q3 to get rid of some harsh areas and then just to add more. And then I added a EQ8. Get rid of the low end. Next, we're going to uh, go on to this patch, which is basically a duplicate of this patch, but with just some few changes. So I'm just going to take all the effects off. Uh. So yeah, let's take a look at this one. So I'm basically doing the same thing, but I changed both wavetables to uh, Sawtooth and I put the second uh, operator or the E operator on a zero ratio and 640. On the master, I put seven voices with the D2. Now I used a rhythm shifter to add that uh, pitch. So basically what a rhythm shifter is, is basically just splitting the signal into two. And one of them has a high pass filter and it's just um, doing their frequency shifting for a pitch. And then we're doing the same, but with a low pass filter, which just takes care of the sub. <laughs> Ozone takes a little while to... Yeah, there you go. So we just have a low pass filter. Then I use the EQ technique again. For that vowel. Then trash two. <laughs> which I think is just on the same setting as this one. And then the amp again. This is really ear piercing, sorry about that, but it's just the same, but uh, with the bass all the way down and the middle about here, then erosion, then an EQ, or no, auto filter, then an OTT, then Dimension Expander with um, almost uh, all the way up for the dry wet. Reverb. EQ8. To uh, high pass it and to get rid of some high end. And then a Fab Filter Pro Q3. Just doing the same thing as the other patch. And uh, then if I take all of this and let me just take all of its effects off because. Later. You can hear that the main sound is there, but it's a little bit empty in like the wider, higher frequencies. So that's why I added a crowd sample. This is just a standard crowd sample. And I added some EQ to it and an OTT to make it fuller and a dimen dimension expander. So this adds some more fullness to the sound. So if I take this off. Anyway. And then for the uh, last uh, group effects chain that I have, um, I put a, a G clip with the clip to 65%, which just kind of all like crunches it all together. Then a uh, Fab Filter Pro L2 with uh, just 8 dB on the gain to make it a lot louder. And uh, EQ8 with a little low cut and a, high, a little high end boost. And there you go. That's the heavy tarot screech that I made for you guys. So um, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please like and comment and consider subscri subscribing as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.